They sprinting away, another untidy beginning, some scrimmaging towards the inside. Bespoken cosmic light right there in the initial stages. Diamond drop in the yellow silks towards the inside. Rio Bath Beach is only a length and a half off them. Towards the outside, Euthenia. At this point in time, Durban Blues electing to join the inside group. Red and white silks just two lengths off the tempo. Further back is Shoot the Curl. Cause a commotion, outpaced. Settling down into racing order, they've split up into two groups. Towards the inside, Cosmic Light be spoken. Durban Blues looks to get into the shake-up. And as we cross to the extreme outside with 400 metres to go, Euthenia moves up a big runner. Narnia tries to get a little bit closer. 400 metres to go, Bespoken's along the inside, Cosmic Light still there. Euthenia towards the outside, well in flight is looking to run on. Durban Blues is down the middle of the course, wide open. Euthenia towards the outside, well in flight's running on. Cosmic Light still right there, Durban Blues, but it's Cosmic Light who's going on for the victory. Cosmic Light won it. Durban Blues second, Bespoken, well in flight and Euthenia. Number five, Cosmic Light. This is from the Duncan House Stable at 200,000 Rand buy, bred by the main chance farms. And for Mrs. Kuhn and Red Jack Trading, Muzi Yeni will bring home number five, Cosmic Light. Comes through to win by about two lengths as they run down to the gates. Winning post there, second Durban Blues. Bespoken's on the inside. Nice to see them using the inside and outside. Towards the inside, well in flight. Euthenia was the overall leader on the outside, just lacked extra late on, and then came towards the inside, diamond drop. Narnia. Gabea Girl. Roy's Machine. Classy Schick further back with feature bid. Spread across the track towards the inside, Cosmic Light, the red cap, and towards the outside, Euthenia. But over the last 100 metres, Cosmic Light starts to power away. Bespoken's on the left-hand side, Durban Blues is down the middle, also staying on well in flight, but it's going to be number five, Cosmic Light, and just glancing across some 21 rand and change the win, 4 rand 50 the place. Cosmic Light, 200,000 rand buy to the winner's enclosure. Oh, pleasant surprise all round here and uh, trainer Duncan Howes uh, teaming up with uh, jockey Muzi Yeni and uh, my pleasure to uh, meet uh, Heinrich Kuhn for the first time and of course Red Jack Trading also owning this daughter of Kirari and uh, she's come to, to make a very good debut Duncan. I mentioned pleasant surprise, you told uh, Kev that she shows a lot of speed back home and you're hoping for a fair performance. Look, I, I knew that she'd run a good race today. I just didn't know how green she'd be with the size of the field. But um, she's shown me a lot at home. I don't wind my horses up first time out. I was expecting her to be green, but I knew she was very quick out the gates. I think that's what actually won her the race. She was in the race very quickly. Um, she's very progressive and I think she's got quite a bright future. That's what I was going to mention next, Duncan. You'll take a lot of positives out of this win if she was not tuned up. You know, we had a problem with our two-year-olds. We were very backward over the last three months. We, I, I personally think we had a bit of a virus in the yard. And I was battling to get horses to come to hand. And I just decided to myself just stop and start over and bring them along slowly. And I think this is a, a positive of what we did with the horses. Thanks for that. Now, before you leave, uh, what about the rest of the afternoon? It's a busy afternoon for the Hulls team. Look, we've got a lot of runners. I think they all fit and well in themselves. The racing is very competitive. Which could be your next best? Look, it's tough to say. I think Kings Archer will give a good account of himself. Um, he'll to his charge if he stays the trip. Then in saying that, I've got other runners in the race with form. If they have luck in running, they'll be right there. Saratoga dancer, tip -tall. I've got chances. My concern with Saratoga Dance obviously is the draw and what sort of pace they go in the race. Tip Toll, I think, could just find a five furlong at Scottsville a bit short for her. But like I said, these will be right there. If they're lucky in running, we have a little bit of luck on our side. We'll, we can come back to the winner's box. And how's that healing process going with your neck? I can't shout anymore, Dees. I know, Warren misses that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd just like to say well done to Heinrich and Werner. They bought us a lot of horses. It's their first winner. And I said to them, it's a promising filly, this. 
They were in two minds whether to come down. They decided to come down for a bit of a off during the week, and I'm very glad the course has come through to win for them. Well done, Duncan. Thank you. Lovely. Let's chat to Muzi before we chat to Heinrich. And uh, nice uh, win from your uh, affiliate, uh, Muzi. Unexpected, as Duncan mentioned, but he, he mentioned that she's quick, and that's where she was uh, from start to finish. Yes, it's quietly bullish. Uh, obviously, I was concerned with being a bit green, and there's a lot of first timers. So it's hard to be very, very confident. And you know, Scottsville's a testing course. You can't always say put and take on, uh, on running on such a testing uh, track. But just well done to him. Uh, well done to Red Check Trading and Mr. Kuhn. Really got a nice feeling in the hands. And uh, she gave me a very, very good feel. She was first out the gates. I gave her a chance. She was green. So I thought, you know, let me rather get a little bit of length or two. If she's green, at least they'll try catch her. And when I squeezed the kick, because it was a good one. If you have a look at the jockey's log, no doubt for another season, the hardest working jockey in the country. And you're having a great run, Muzi. Compliments with that. Before you leave us, you got a busy afternoon. You got some nice rides later on. Yes, uh, I thought with Bate that Bate is probably my, my best. Well, after this one won, so she became my best. But, you know, in a job form over 2,000 meters, she lost competed in a feature, and she just got touched off with the horse that had no weight on the day. So if she brings that form, she must. I think she'll go very, very close. And Saratoga Dancer wasn't beaten far last time. I think only got beaten by three lengths. It's working well at home, so I'm expecting him to be right there. Before you leave, I see you guys are using the middle and even the outside of the course down the straight. Well, Anton decided to reinvent the wheel and go outside, so I didn't want to take my chances. I thought I'm on a good ride, not going to take a chance. Uh, to one or two of the winners in the Golden Medallion Day and the Big Day won from the inside. I didn't want to change too much, but I think the track is quite even. I was looking across on my outside, always keeping an eye on them, but she's just was better than the rest. Well done, Muzi. Thank you. Just well done to the owners again. Just nice to have them here and to my sponsors winning for me. Big thanks. Well done, Muzi. Any and a gentleman that's been waiting patiently is Heinrich Kuhn. Heinrich, firstly, hearty congratulations. Thank you very much, Dees. Coming back to this filly, you know, Duncan mentioned that you guys have uh, bought a, into a few horses in his yard and nice to get one under the belt early. Yeah, definitely. She's a nice filly, ran a brilliant race. We couldn't be asking for more. Talking about uh, the, the, the family and, uh, of course, uh, uh, I'm going to have a look at this partnership again. Uh, you can tell us a bit more about it. Red Jack Trading. Yeah, it's my brother, my eldest brother. He was actually the one who introduced me to horse racing. Thank you, Tim. And, uh, yeah, I'm just over the moon. Is this your first winner ever? No, it's my second winner. Which was your first? Uh, Captain Rock with Christy Rasmus. Okay, that was up in Kauteng. So, you guys yeah. just down for a few days? Uh, just for today, leaving back to Cape Town tomorrow morning and uh, back to Joburg for my eldest brother. Well, fantastic. Please give our best to the rest of the family that are involved with this filly and just reading between the lines, Duncan and Muzi both like her. Uh, she's an exceptional filly. Duncan said she's got some ability. We just didn't know how much. Uh, she absolutely blew us away today. Well, may this be the first of many, many more winners for yourself and your family here in KZN. Thank you very much, Dees. Just a quick couple of thanks to my eldest brother, as I said, introducing me to horse racing. Duncan and Kathy for all the hard work at the yard. James as well. Um, Nicola and Mark Copes at uh, Balmoral Stud for all the hard work that they put in, uh, you know, with the spelling farm. Um, yeah, and to the sponsors and uh, everybody concerned. Well, I wish you all the best, as I mentioned, and a safe trip back home. Thank you very much, Dees. Well done to Heinrich Kuhn and all the guys here involved with this filly, number five, Cosmic Light. Five, seven, two, and 16. That's your result. Race number two. Coming up next will be the start of the place accumulator. Time to jot down 1,300 hours, one o'clock. First leg of the PA, race number three.